Trey. Um, I have uh, Curtis here with me. Curtis, you can Hello. shake the camera. Hello. Um, so Curtis has taken bad advice and gone with me to a second location. And we are now going to go down and try to shoot um, uh, the rocks and uh, the surf down by the water. So we pan it over there. See things are pretty. There's no way it'll come out on that camera. That's why it's, uh, it's a good condition for HDR. Um, so before we go down, I'll talk about my, my camera setup. Um, if you've seen these before, you'll notice that I tend to just use two basic lenses for most of my shots. One of them is a wide-angle lens. Uh, this is a Nikon 1424. Uh, I've got other lens recommendations on my website as well. Um, and the other big lens that I use is the 28-300. Uh, but since I'm going to get in close and do rocks, um, I quite like this lens because it really distorts things at a 14 millimeter setting and I think distorted rocks are cool and oftentimes people can't tell that the rocks are distorted because a distorted rock is just like a rock. It's not something that is organic or has a pre-planned shape that you can tell when it's warped. Um, so anyway, that's my uh, plan of attack and we'll go down there and see what we can find. So I am in a bit of a hurry to get down there before the sun gets too high. I like the low morning sun. Uh, but one thing that I quite like, which is different down here at the rocks, is there's a strange line of vegetation that happens to run right here. And the way the light catches it from the back side is really nice. It's nice and something organic in the middle of all this rock desolation. Um, so little, uh, you know, grasses are waving around in the sand. I'm set up to take seven exposures from minus three to plus three. It'll start taking them now. Um, and you know the grass will be in different positions for all of them. Uh, I'll use all of these to create the HDR shot, right, the tone map shot, and then I'll pluck one of the clean uh, shots out of the middle, maybe the minus one, the zero, or the plus one, and I'll mask that in so you don't see any movement. Um, and I'll try to make the masking as gentle as possible so you don't see a big harsh transition from the raw into the tone map image. I drop down into this little crevice on the beach. Um, I really like how these rocks look. They're kind of rounded and soft, and they're layered up towards the sun, and the sun is touching them layer upon layer. So I think it'll turn out nice and give a bit of depth to the, to the final scene. I still set up at seven exposures from minus three to plus three. I close that ahead of time, that's why I appear to be so blase about the way I behave. Okay, so I'll wrap it up here. I got that really low because I want to get the drama of the waves. And I put it in um, continuous high mode instead of timer so that I could wait on the big waves and fire as soon as they hit. Like, that one hit me too. Uh, anyway, so I'll keep firing away, uh, see what I can find, and go home and have fun post-processing.